What's the difference between this tiny bit and this slightly longer one? For that matter, what's the difference between these silver bits and these skinnier black ones? Driver bit varieties can get confusing for new DIYers. So today I'm gonna to give a quick rundown of the main varieties and how they work. And that's coming up next on The Honest Carpenter Show. So these smaller bits are known as insert bits, and these longer bits are typically called power bits. They're both capable of chucking into any typical drill, and they can both drive screws effectively. But on their own, power bits are a little more useful because they're longer, and they provide some clearance for you to view the fastener head. They get the work a little further away from you. So why were insert bits created? Basically, it was to facilitate faster bit changing. You can load an insert bit into a keyless chuck, and it'll hold. The little notches on the hexagonal walls even give you an indicator of how deeply to seat it. But ideally, insert bits are always used with bit holders. They look like nut drivers, but they're designed to act as adapters for driver bits. The bit holder itself chucks securely into the drill, and then insert bits can just be popped into the hex socket at the end. Now you can cycle through insert bits extremely quickly if you need different bit profiles. Also, bit holders are often magnetized to hold bits better, and some even have a slight spring tension that grip the insert bit. This helps prevent losing the bit on pullout. I've mentioned these sleeve drive guides before, which help guide and align a fastener as you drive. They're often magnetic, but not every bit holder has these sleeves. Some are just a bit socket. So that's all pretty straightforward, but where most newcomers get confused is with these black skinnier bits. These aren't normal driver bits. These are impact rated bits. Impact drivers are more aggressive driving tools. They're stumpier and they use a ratcheting effect to drive fasteners without slipping or camming out. I did a video about them as well. But the main takeaway is that you can't or really shouldn't use normal bits in an impact driver. The tool's torque is so powerful that it'll break or snap normal bits. Instead, you wanna use these, impact bits. They're typically black with skinnier necks and they often have colorful bands on the neck. These are custom engineered for impact drivers. They're actually designed to have a tiny bit of flexibility in this torsional shaft. They can twist slightly without breaking. This lets them handle the increased torque of impact drivers and long fasteners. They also have this deep circular groove at the bottom, which is sometimes called the power groove. This is a quick change feature. Pretty much all impact drivers have a quick release collet. You can just pop the impact bit in and ball bearings in the collet grab the power groove. To release them, you just pull the collar back, the bearings retract, and the bit pops out. Most impact bits are power bits for this reason. There are impact insert bits as well, but you really can't load them by themselves because the quick change collets won't hold them securely. So there are impact rated bit holders on the market. They chuck into the impact driver and you can pop impact rated insert bits into them and they work like normal. To confuse the issue though, many normal power bits now have power grooves on them and I've never quite figured out why. Yes, they can be loaded into impact driver quick releases, but again, they're not designed to handle that torque, so it's not advisable. If anybody knows why this evolved, let me hear about it down in the comments because I can't seem to figure it out. Anyways, that's my rundown on the impact bit, insert bit, and power bit conundrum. I hope it helps. I'll link all these products and bit sets down below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check back soon for more videos coming up, and I hope you'll consider subscribing. I'm Ethan James with The Honest Carpenter. I'll see you next time.